Welcome back, Achievers, to your weekly little secret. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting with me, as always, Alex. How you doing? I'm pretty good. We're talking more Xbox, which is fantastic. Yes, we are. Um, we don't really get to nerd out on Xbox a lot, because generally when they're in the news, it's like, you know, Game Pass this, very current stuff, right? We've never really been mm-hmm. able to reminisce often. Um, so I'm, act- I'm actually really excited. This is, of course, part two to our 20 years of Xbox. I guess you call it not really a retrospective, kind of a retrospective. I mean, we are literally doing a retrospective, but that's a certain connotation. We're not really going into that too deep, but we're just kind of taking a look back, some nice memories of... With the Xbox, the 360, of course. Now, with part two, starting off with the Xbox One. Alex, the Xbox One. Now, I got it in 2013, right when it launched. It was my Christmas present. I was very excited. I spent four ninety nine and got an Xbox One and a Connect. Were you right there with me on launch day? I don't, I don't remember. Weren't you mm-hmm. a couple days after? I, I couldn't get mine until a month later for my birthday. Okay, so okay, but you were close behind, very close behind. Achievers, give me one second. We have lost Alex. That's okay, I, I can go. hear you and I see no, you. No, no, no. Yeah. Discord happening. just freaked out. It's okay. Okay, there we go. We're still good, though. Everything's still fine. Um, I hope so. But go- <laughs> going back to what we were talking about with Xbox One, right? We both were there essentially at launch. Essentially. I want us to go back to 2013. Now, Let's let's go a little further back, still in 2013, but at the beginning of the year, and let's remember just the awful time if you enjoyed Xbox. That was let's remember the guy going up there, Call of Duty, TV, TV, Madden, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, football, all that good stuff on that interview, uh, not interview, but like stage introducing the Xbox One. If you remember, Alex, the Xbox One, of course, is your all-in-one entertainment system. I remember that? You're all-in-one. You'll never need anything else. This will be your hub. We want, we want to be the only machine under your TV. I remember all that garbage. Remember the... Uh, and originally, um, it was going to be the DMCA, <laughs> uh, where... Uh, DMCA is not the... I don't remember the term they used, but it was basically where it had to refresh every day to see if you could play the games you owned. I don't remember that at all. Really? That was a, remember like that first year, not even the first year. It's before the system came out. They were talking about this, but remember they. And if you want, you can look this up real quick. Um, because I can vamp, you know me. But it was when he came. The not he, but the entire team was like, yeah, you know, it's an always online system, so you're gonna have to refresh every That's 24 right. hours. Yeah. Yep. For the I system to tell like. Uh, the game like the the t- for the system to tell you you still have the license and all that. They eventually they eventually walked back on that. Although it was still technically in the system, uh, I don't believe uh, it, they 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 didn't do what they said specifically. But you still had to mm-hmm. connect to the internet for almost three years uh, yeah. to actually do anything with the system. So uh, they didn't really not do that. They still did it. Uh, but mm-hmm. I remember leading up to the launch, almost, and I remember having this conversation with the Alex, almost buying a PS4 because I was so terrified. First off, mm-hmm. uh, where you were at that time, you had no internet connection. Basically, internet. you had yeah, you had very small internet connection, and we were going into a generation where it seemed like they were only going to care about your internet connection. I was like. Well, it took it took me at least overnight to two days to download fifty to almost, eighty gigs. Almost any game. I mean, almost any, any game. Any game. Yeah, almost really. any game you had to download overnight. It's not like you and could do nothing until yeah. it was done. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. And that was just you. Yeah. So, I remember putting my router as close as I could to upstairs because <laughs> it's a two story house. Yeah. And then you see is like a fifty foot Ethernet cord going across the hallway. Nice. Nice. At one point, I even had. Uh, a table in the hallway with the Xbox because it was just slightly short, and mm-hmm. I had to like I was like, you, all you see is cables just <laughs> running through the through to the TV, stretching into the hallway where the Xbox is, and then stretching across the hallway. Your wife is very forgiving. Now, again, leading into this, 
when they do this, I, I remember the day I pre-ordered the Xbox One for, because I had known it was going to be a gift. Um, mm-hmm. They had to be pre-ordered to make sure I could get it. And I remember going to a GameStop and doing it, and the lady going, oh, you're still going to do it? Are, are you worried about the other stuff? She she was being uh, nice about it, but I was like, yeah, I'm... I, <laughs> The only way I rationalized it was they're not really going to go through with it. <laughs> like, that's how I, I was like, they're not really going to do that, they're right? They're going to do it. That's, that's, that's how I rationalized it. Doing, I was like, they're not going to do that, r- right? <laughs> and, right? And, and, just, and, and like I think it was... Like, what do you want me to say? I think it was two days later. They actually came out and were like, all right, we're not going to do it. We're going to come back. We're, we're going to... And again, they... I still don't. They it still happen. Uh, Alex, you know this. Uh, any with the OG Xbox from 2013, you had to be connected to the internet to do basically to do anything. That. Anything. So, to even look at your achievements, you had to be online. To look at your achievements. To oh my god! Do you not know almost anything you had to be connected. So I mean, essentially, it was still a thing. They just pretended it, it didn't happen. Um, yeah. Alex, I don't remember. Were you able to home Xbox back then? Were you able to set your home Xbox back then, 2013? Yes. You were. Yes, I think we were. We were always mm. able to game sh- to do like what well, we do the game share. Yeah, we didn't start doing that until like 2015. I feel like though. Really? I don't think I don't think we did it that early. Maybe we did. I don't remember. I thought the. Hmm. I don't remember when the home it was feature like, well, was introduced. Mm, oh, let me see. It might have um, been at launch in the original UI. I just can't remember. I can't remember, but. With it finally coming out, it had everything going against it. First off, PS4 was dominating them every step of the way with like how they were marketing this thing. I'll never forget the video, Alex. I don't know if you remember this video uh, of uh, yeah. how to share your PS4 games. Oh my god, that will, that has to be the <laughs> just handing him the game. Thanks, shakes hands. <laughs> like that might be in. If you, if yeah, you were, the, yeah, that's true because at the very beginning they said Xbox, you're not able to game share. At the very, like be- that, well, right? no, at the very beginning you could, but you, you, it was how it is now, where you had to, you had to do it how we do it. I think you right, can so. only share with one friend, and in a roundabout way they kind of described what we did, but I think it was way more specific because I think even physical games they said they were going to do that. If uh, if I'm remembering correctly, which is fucking awesome, like like in mm-hmm. in us looking back, it's hilarious. At the time, it was like, what are they doing? <laughs> like, what is happening right now? I think his I think his name was um Dan Patrick. I th- I'm pretty sure that was his name. Uh, and you could not have done oh I mean arguably the one of the worst modern hack jobs of a long time mm. now uh, let's be fair 360 did have the red red ring of death which not quite the same of what i'm talking about but it's let's not forget that again this is the same company we're still talking about too which is a little sad but um but what he did setting up the xbox one as this kind of online all-in-one thing just quickly fell apart because microsoft just snap that right out of the butt as soon as they were like no one likes this uh you messed it up we're walking this back we're not doing this anymore <laughs> that's awesome um but alex I, we did have to buy a connect with it so this brings me back to a question of did you have any fond memories with this connect that we had to have that they made you buy with it and of course the ps4 was 400 bucks so a hundred dollars cheaper without a fucking connect i still pissed off about that but you uh did you Wasn't did you have any fond memories of the connect i remember using the connect but for some reason my mind still wants to say connect adventures but isn't there a wasn't there another one for xbox one like some type of game like that for xbox one wasn't connect adventures for xbox one it no no that was a, no that was a launch connect game um that was, yeah that, uh there was a, there was a connect game that I remember playing, and I do I do remember there was one time uh, I tried doing the thing where they did in Paranormal Activity where it does the little all the dots everywhere so you could see if you could see a ghost or whatever. I did try that. I never got a ghost. I, I don't mad. know what that is. I, didn't, I, didn't, I don't remember that. There was a thing where, like, uh, I forget how to do it, but uh, you're 
your connect would would go like kind of like ni- uh, night vision. Okay. And you you just see like a bunch of like dots everywhere, like just like in a grid. Okay. And it, and I'm assuming it's just to show like how what it's catching. And in the movie, Paranormal Activity movie, it it it, it it'll catch the ghost. And I was uh, like, is that real? Can I try that? And so I tried. I doing think it. I see. Okay. Yeah. All right. I see what you're saying. Um. So we did this for 360. I'm gonna do it for Xbox One as well. I'm gonna read off the launch list. So this is everything that was available. Okay. Day one. Uh, it, uh, alphabetically. Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, Battlefield 4, Call of Duty Ghosts, Crimson Dragon, <laughs> Dead Rising oh 3, FIFA 14, Fighter Within, Forza Motorsport 5, Just Dance 2014, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, Loco Cycle, Madden NFL 25, NBA 2K14, NBA Live 14, Need for Speed Rivals, Power Star Golf, Rise Son of Rome, Skylander Swap Force, Xbox Fitness, Zoo Tycoon, Zumba Fitness, World Party. Mm. Wow. Now, not a terrible launch. Not a terrible launch by any means. It was, no, it wasn't terrible. No, I've I've seen worse launch lineups. This is actually not too bad. First off, Killer Instinct, underrated fighting game. Oh, for sure. Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, one of, if not the best Assassin's Creed game. Battlefield 4 was a good Battlefield, in my opinion, although was, I don't was, think many people... I liked it better than the upper versions that, that's come out. Uh, yeah, th- that was probably the last Battlefield that I actually liked. Yeah, um, and it's just all been just brand up shit for since then. Call yeah. of Duty Ghosts actually one of my least favorite Call of Duty. So, uh, which one? Call of Duty Ghosts. Ghosts. Oh one yeah, my you, least yeah, you re- yeah you reiterated that the, yes. in the last episode in our spoiler cast live right now of Call of Duty Vanguard. Yes, I did. Thank you, Alex. Um, Crimson Dragon. Um, <laughs> it was a fucking Dude, terrible game. I was obsessed with this game. You I wanted don't a know thousand. Why. I get it. You wanted the achievement. I get it. But ill. Wasn't that Connect game? No. That was a Connect game, right? No. No. Okay. No, I didn't play that on Connect. I mean, maybe it had a feature for Connect, but I did not maybe use yeah, it. Maybe that's what I'm remembering. It had a feature or something. Dead Rising I, yeah, 3, no. I loved. I that played was a good I game. Played that I love that game. I played oh, that yeah. a lot. I played that a lot. Yep. It was really good. Yep, yep. It was really good. Um, skipping, I did not play Motorsport 5. Um, just I Just because I didn't love the Motorsport games, so I didn't play yeah, it. Yeah, I played, I played that one for a little bit. I never finished it, but I did play it a lot. I played a lot of Killer Instinct, mostly because it was a lot of achievements. So I played a mm-hmm. lot of them. You see, I didn't play a lot of that one. I, I enjoyed it. It was it was fun. It was uh, yeah. it it showed off the particle effects. You remember that was kind of a big thing when the PS4 yeah. and Xbox One was the mm-hmm. particle effects. And and in Killer Instinct, when you like hit people, you could see like sparks sometimes and finishing mm-hmm. moves and things. So I, when I was doing that, I was like, oh my god, look at the particles! Like I I never cared about particles in my life, but for some reason, <laughs> I cared when I was playing Killer Instinct um i did play nfl 25 that was actually a really fun madden um it was actually a really good Madden, if i, if I remember I, I, correctly i actually missed that one um it was like a it was the 25th and that's why it's called 25 yeah, of course i just never played it for the achievers it's 25th anniversary of the game it was it was fun it wasn't you know it's madden so yeah uh i did not play 2k14 i don't think need for speed rivals i did enjoy a lot yep i did um, play that Rise Son of Rome, we did talk about in the last episode, yes, but that, that is my one of my. That is a very underrated game made by Crytek. Made by Dead Crytek. Rising Three, so Rise, and um, damn, what the hell was Assassin's the other one Creed Four? Thank you. That those are the three games that literally I had for, for like me like too. the next couple months. Me too. That that sustained me for a very long time. Now mm-hmm. I will be honest, and it happened because it wasn't backwards compatible. the The Xbox One did did sit there for a long time. Mm-hmm. It did not get a lot of launch. It, lo- sorry, it didn't get a lot of titles. Mm-hmm. I did eventually plug up my 360 again because I was like, I can't play anything yep. on this. <laughs> like yep. after you played all your games, you're like what else do i do that's why i can't i do i kept playing rise I, and i was like i guess i'll get the thousand and i went and but got the thousand oh i had the most un- underrated feature and we never thought we would miss again snap snap you did have snap i will we say snap. i talk a lot of shit about dan patrick mostly because he sucked a lot of stuff he did a lot of stuff that sucked but mm-hmm. he someone under him or him brought snap shout out to snap now, did it make sense for your entire right side of your screen to be taken up by nothing 
No, it didn't. Still a bad system, but the idea of something really cool is there. Just wasted on a, first off, terrible feature, like, integrated into the system. And then second, Mm -hmm. they just took it off and just, we're just not supposed to talk about it anymore. It's fucking lame. Yep. We'll never see Snap again, and that makes me upset. Ugh. So annoying. Makes me upset. Because that's when they were started. That's when they had the whole smart glass and everything. Because they had oh came my out with God. smart glass. Oh, God. Oh, God. Alex, you like set off a flashbang. Oh, my God. I can't see. I can't see, Alex. Smart glass. Oh, my God. I forgot all <laughs> about this. I loved smart glass. Oh, my God. We loved smart glass. This was Achievers, if you don't remember, or if you were not a part of the ecosystem, or if you were just like everyone else in the world and didn't care or know about this thing, <laughs> I totally get it. But it was called Project Smart Glass, I think. And then eventually just they called it Smart Glass. Yeah, it's just Smart but, Glass. But which first off is kind of a stupid fucking name now that I'm thinking about it. It's just called Smart Glass. Weird. Anyways, uh, Smart Glass was almost like a, as a like assist to a game mm-hmm. so for instance a game like dead rising 3 you could use smart glass and you could see like recipes or something mm-hmm. uh you for like rise i think it was maps i think or something I something like that yeah but it was something that in theory sounds awesome but first it off, was a no companion one, app so. it, was, it was a companion app. yeah that's what it was um and you could actually use it as a uh, controller too which mm-hmm. was really cool. I thought that was so neat that you could use your phone to like mess around with your um, system. Make it track achievements and stuff like yep, that. Yeah. Yep, that was really cool. I could see achievements on there and things like that. Uh, it, the uh, A cool idea was there, but no one ever used it. Just like anything else. Just like the um, mm-hmm. on the PS5, the, the help... Uh, what are they called? The help cards? Cards. They're oh, called you, cards. Yeah, you, yeah, 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 yeah. With the little cards. That's, that a, that's a cool yeah. feature that no one's ever going to use. No one's ever going to use that feature. But it's it's cool. We did. <laughs> we well, no one, as in the developers, not us. If gotcha, it was in the game, I used, I, it for, like. I used it for Astrobot. Yeah, I did too. Um, and this is all everything from the launch window. Technically, within I think um, three months is the period. Um, we have uh, Connect Sports Rival, Minecraft Xbox One Edition, Wiki Peggle Two, or sorry, Peggle Two. This is all from Wiki, so this is all in weird ass <laughs> format. Wiki Peggle. Yeah, it says for some reason it has wiki and then peggle, and I read wiki like a fucking jackass. Project Spark. <laughs> Alex, shout out to you. I love that game, man. Titanfall, Wolfenstein to New Order. Those last two are mine right there. Wolfenstein, fantastic game. Titanfall. I love Titanfall, man. Ugh. Titanfall on paper, I hated it. On paper, they were like, oh, this is the only campaign? The fucking, it's terrible. Why would I care about that? And when I played it, I was like, this is awesome. Yeah, one day when <laughs> it's so I was cool. like, oh, Oh, it's online only, no campaign. I was like, yeah. what? Yeah. And then when we played it, you know, there's people talking. I'm like, oh, okay, that's interesting. But then the just the gameplay, you being going in a mech and everybody's mm-hmm. running around. Oh, it was like so cool. When you got in that mech and you could just obliterate someone either then, in your fist or just shooting like a giant railgun at someone, so sad. Even the animation, I always love. Like when you jump in, it's like dark, but then it, it digitizes the screen and you can just see out of it. And I'm like, whoa, that's so cool. It was awesome. Now, this is the launch. Again, I will say it took a while for the Xbox One to become the primary, and it took a very long time for me to actually really fall in love with the system. At first, it was a lot of jumping back and forth in 360, Xbox One. I think, um, see, this was 2013. Okay, no, that nope, the math doesn't work. I was about to say something, but it doesn't work. Um, so this launch window, all, launch window for, in all intents and purposes, okay. Not great though, but it was like, okay. Once I, I, I do stick st- uh, specifically though. Remembering, I don't know if this was you as well, Alex, but I went once I beat everything and I, I was kind of sitting there like, what do I do? Netflix, I yeah. guess. <laughs> you know, like it was one of those things. Like, what do I do with this now? I um, think I went back to my 360. I did too. I just hooked up the 360 again because I, I and, and PS3. I was playing PS3. I didn't have the PS4 until. I didn't have a PS4 until 2016. Yes, because I would have gotten my first job. Should have been 2016, I think. Might have been 2017. I don't know. Not important. 
Uh, let us move on, Alex. To Maybe 20... I played my Vita because I think I had a Vita at the time. I did not I have remember. a Vita. I definitely did not. No, the 2013 Vita didn't come out yet, right? Vita came out 2012. Did it? Yes. Thank you. I believe so. Oh, now you believe so. You're pretty confident. Now you aren't. Let's see. 2011. December 2011. 17, 2011. I think that's oh, Japan, okay. though. That's yeah. That, uh, that doesn't sound yeah. right for America. Yeah, because I think for America it was 2012. Yeah, see it right there, uh, February 22nd, 2012. Yep. Thank you. Yep, and that's that was the OLED. I did not have a Vita. I didn't have a Vita until the, I bought the Slim when it came out. It was the lime green. I remember specifically. Mm, that's the one I bought. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because I bought my Vita around the same time, but I had got the OLED. I had got the white OLED. Mm. And I was like, oh, I had messed up on me because of the charging port was proprietary. So then I ended up getting the blue slim. Now, launch Still have it. the launch UI. Not great. No. Not great. Do you remember it at all? I do. A little. Yes. Yes. A lot of blocks. They were mm-hmm. really big on the win- oh, be was it Windows, Windows 8. Windows 8. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They were really big on Windows 8. So they wanted it to all be blocks. And it was like, I get what you're doing. But no, I get it. But stop. Why are my games hidden? Like why? Like why is it so hard to get? Because I did always enjoy on PlayStation and on Xbox. Like you have a dedicated game bar almost. Mm-hmm. And this is the first time they kind of hide your games, and it's like I don't love that. Um, or at least have like a more cohesive location for them. And we do kind of eventually get that, but not really. And they had the the tabs, the yes, and everything would slide because yeah, it was t- it was still trying to be like the the three sixty in a way, but just more modern. Yeah, they definitely wanted to keep the structure of the three sixty UI. They, I think, I think most of the people went, "Hey, let's keep the three sixty UI, but make it Windows eight. And that, I mean, that's mm-hmm. what we got. I mean, it's almost the exact same UI. If you really mm-hmm. kind of look at it yeah, side by side, it, yeah. it's almost the exact same. So they didn't change too much, which. Yeah made it kind of even worse <laughs> like the ps4 like it's just like the squidward beam of spongebob and patrick everyone's playing outside and just just squidward in the darkness staring outside a window that's how it felt mm-hmm. like to be an xbox one fan because you got all this you just we just got shitted on for four years almost <laughs> of just like first off we had no games to play which is true second off yeah. objectively worse looking console objectively worse looking it looked like a vcr and then you had to plug in this frankenstein battery into it so it was that big without an internal battery in it which is which is mind-blowing it just doesn't i just remember (laughs) i was i was like hold on let's do some quick math i was like 16 17 roughly okay even I was like, you couldn't figure out how to put a battery in this? <laughs> like, why is this like this? This looks terrible. And this mind thing is you, huge. And mind you, if the, thing, if the thing got destroyed, it's like, what, $50, $60 to find one? 50 bucks. Back then, it was 80 80 I, yeah. I remember specifically it being 80 to to $100, depending on where you were buying it. Mm-hmm. Those were expensive. And, 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 you know, back then, it made sense. It, it was a giant battery, but still... Mm-hmm. Why is um, it not inside of the system? And also, uh, we did skimp over this. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll come back to what you're... I didn't, I didn't mean to cut you off, but... No, you're good. Um, we skipped over the dual HDMI. So this is almost a oh, switcher yeah. as well. Let's not forget. It's just become so... We're so used to it that I just didn't even think about it, But that it had a native switcher. I remember, I, Alex, this is fucking one of those... Burned into my brain memories. But on launch day, I believe, they showed the Xbox One. <laughs> Let's scratch that. They showed New Super Mario Bros. U on the Wii U, I believe. And then when you clicked on the video and an Xbox achievement popped. Or no, sorry. It said someone was online. And they were like, oh, I wonder how, I wonder how you think we got this. Well... They said you they wanted you to plug your TV or your 
DVR receiver TV thing into this. I mean, it's just an HDMI cable. You can plug anything to it. So they had their Wii U plugged up to it, and that was their TV option. So when you went to TV and flipped over, mm-hmm. you could use it as anything. And I actually did that for the I, PS4. I did. Yeah, I did use it once. I used it a few times. I actually did have a, a TV. I used it for a lot too, but... After a while, you you go, why do I do this? (laughs) Now, it was more of the novelty is why I kept doing it, but it was... Alex, you're in the boardroom. 20, let's say 2011. They're finalizing the Xbox One design, 2012. They look at you as like, all right, we got two two here. All right, both of them are going to be big as fuck regardless. Should we keep this HDMI dual splitter thing? Or do we, or do we, or do we take it away? What do you do? <sighs> this is a tale of two Xboxes. First off, they were trying to backtrack on their whole all-in-one thing, kind of. Um, and they were also kind of trying to backtrack on this whole TV thing they were doing. Let's not forget. Well, they were trying to also use Snap and be like, "Oh, you can watch TV as yep. you're doing this." Yeah, and let's not forget there was a Halo TV show promised back then. And we're only hearing things about it now. <laughs> we had got the little mini series from Halo Waypoint that had the live action Spartan right, Rock thing. But you got to remember, Steven Spielberg. They got Steven Spielberg to come on and say he was making a Halo TV show. Hmm. As part of that event. That was like, and then remember they, uh, did they debut Quantum Break or did they talk about Quantum Break? I think they talked about Quantum Break and being like, this is going to be a merger of TV and video games. You'll mm-hmm. play some, some of the game and you'll watch the rest. It's like, that sounds fucking terrible. <laughs> Why don't we just play the game? <laughs> Why does this whole other thing happen? Oh, but so I sent you I sent you the evolution of the dashboard whenever if you want to talk about that. Oh, yes, I would love to talk about that. I'm while I prep that, um Alex, is there anything you want to anything about that OG box you want to leave me with before we move on? Why do they always have to go with a glossy finish? Because literally, literally brand new straight out the box. I'm looking at it. I'm like, "Oh, it looks nice. Why is there a scratch on it?" And then Literally, you, and had, then you, and then I had a like, big oh, scratch on, on it. Hold on, I got to sneeze. Uh, chew, and then you look. There's seven more scratches. What happened between that? What happened there? What, what even happened in that seven Literally seconds? Me taking the plastic off. I look. There's already a scratch on it. I'm like, what the fuck? Like the thing scratched so easily. I, why? This wasn't even just an Xbox One and, thing. And, 360 and they, did it too. Yeah. Why did the PS4 do it too? Why did? Why was gloss finish this big thing? It never like, looked good. Like when the 360 Slim did it, I was like, "Oh, it looks nice, whatever." And I, would, but it get it, it would get so scratched up. And then though, I remember one time where um, I was trading it in at the uh, for a different model, and I could see the per, uh, the person at GameStop buffing the fuck out of it. <laughs> and I'm like, "What are you doing?" They're like taking the scratches off. I'm like, "Isn't that gonna make it worse?" And literally, when the person finished, it was like matte. And I'm like, "What?" And then, literally, what was it? A couple months later, they came out with a matte version of that system. Oh, that's there's right. a, they did. There's they a did matte version take, of that system. Yeah, they eventually took the gloss off. I remember that. Yeah, so I was like, why didn't they just do that? It's and why like, did they have... It's like they are indeed this Half thing? the system have to be a fa- uh, uh, like a grill. <laughs> that's... They did. They did. Because, you know, Alex? Because it's the size of a, 90, a 1970s VCR for some reason. I had to use why? a toothbrush to get all the dust off the thing and go... <laughs> yeah. Now... It's so dumb. <laughs> oh, my God. The, X, the original so Xbox One. Oh, my God. Now... Not to mention they still kept the touch and then you when you slightly I was bump, just touch about it. to say that. Let's not forget the touch screen. It still stuck around, even though we all complained about it in the 360, and they eventually took it away with the new one. They eventually the took E-model, away yeah. the touch screen into the new model they sent out, and they kept it in the new system. Why does that doesn't make any sense? Why did you keep it in? <laughs> literally, there was one time asked you stop doing it. There was literally one time where I was I was sitting in front of the system because I had moved it. I had my blanket. I moved my blanket. The blanket touched it, not me. The blanket touched it, 
it shut it off. I want. I would love to hear horror stories. Achievers, if you have any, leave it in the comments. Animal, Imagine baby, playing fucking Dark Souls or something spouse. in the middle of that. Ima yeah. For real though, Alex. Imagine, oh. imagine halfway through a, a Dark Souls boss fight with like uh, with a uh, Gwyn of First Flame or something. Imagine being halfway through like the last boss fight of Dark Souls three, and your oh, dog's God. like, "I love you, human," and he's just sniffing around, and his nose, blink, all of it's gone. You didn't have fucking suspense feature back then. Your system was just off now, and it's gone forever. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> like revert to last save <laughs> i was oh my god that is and you realize that you haven't saved in three hours yep that's always how it happened too it always happened very dramatically oh there'll be times dude i'd get so mad that i'd be done playing the game for a couple days oh I'm yeah like, you gotta I, take you gotta I, you gotta like what you gotta take a walk like you're like i, I gotta go take a walk like you're so I'll mad this later you're so mad you gotta go like think about it yep all right, so we're in 2013. So we're still in 2014. So let's go over the 2014 games that we had back then. Grand Theft Auto okay. 5, Tomb Raider, Diablo 3, Dragon Age Inquisition. Stop if you want to talk about any of this. Forza Horizon 2, Outlast, Shadow of Mordor, Valiant Hearts, Far Cry 4, Minecraft. I don't know why that's listed. Um, Rayman Legends, NBA 2K15, Sunset Overdrive. I'm definitely Sunset talking Overdrive, to you about Sunset yeah. Overdrive. Um, that was 2014? Limbo. Or 2015. 2014 got it that was a fun game that was such a fun game i'm looking your game alien isolation came out yep that was advanced yeah, warfare all right let's talk about these um sunset overdrive yep of course xbox one game yep insomniac i remember hearing the words a new xbox one developed by insomniac mm -hmm. i went I, it didn't compute. It was my first, I feel like, cognizant, because I was really becoming cognizant of the industry back then. And I was mm -hmm. like reading a lot of, and I kind of knew developers, not a lot, not as much as I know now, but I, I kind of knew who people were. But when I heard the words Insomniac and Xbox in the same sentence, I went, what? And then you look at the game, and it, I was like, this looks fucking awesome. Like, what is it? Like, it was the it was like the one time we went to go like yeah like this is cool like again like we were getting like like shitted on it, it we didn't yeah. have any games it kind of sucked that first year mm -hmm. uh the ui again i'll say it terrible just terrible <laughs> ui when it launched it, um we you did at least have time. apps whereas um playstation it took a while for them to get like netflix and youtube for whatever mm -hmm, reason, I, I don't that. know why. I th I think they eventually said why, but we don't... Oh, I think they were having issues developing the app or some weird thing. I was like, why don't PS4 have mm -hmm. these apps? It's, it's just so weird, but... Anyways, with the... um, Yeah, with not having much, when we finally got Sunset Overdrive, it was... I was so happy. It was such a fun game. I love... Love Sunset Overdrive, and I will probably say it might be the actually the most underrated game of last gen. I think I'm almost pretty confident saying that, um, in terms of quality, in terms yeah. of narrative, in terms of gameplay, just all around. I think it's just it's, an underrated game. No one talks about it. No one really yeah. knows. It sucks that we'll never get was. a we'll never get like a, a little remaster or revamp of nah, it. We probably won't. We might see no. Sunset Overdrive again in. in uh, I don't know. They repurchased, I, I believe, so. the IP from my... Did they, didn't they repurchase it or something? Uh, did something um, like that. But I think I... I don't think was we'll it, see this uh, was it, it Wasn't PlayStation they purchased the IP? Let's see. I, I, I could have swore. Because, I mean, I wouldn't mind playing that like with an FPS boost. Like, you know, playing <sighs> that at 60. Like, oh, oh imagine oh, that oh. game, dude. Sunset Overdrive. Like, if I... Like, I mean, they, you, how many times have they done an anniversary for... Skyrim, give me one for a fucking Sunset Overdrive. Let me do a new fucking achievement list. Just give me another one. Just do it. Ah, right? Server. Like, it was one of your best console exclusives in a long time. I'm not seeing does it. it. Say who, does it show who purchased it? Okay, no. So apparently Insomniac did have the IP of Sunset Overdrive. So Sony does now 
Sony, okay. okay. Oh, yeah, Sony PlayStation, it says, yep. Has registered the Sunset Overdrive IP trademark, yep. We do not know if Microsoft owns the publishing rights, apparently. Gotcha. But they, but, but, but Sony, does Sony have the probably has IP the IP because they trademarked yep. it. But mm-hmm. I don't, but I think Xbox might actually have the publishing rights to it. Hmm. I don't know. That's when, um, that's when legal stuff gets very complicated. Mm-hmm. Anyways, yeah, Sunshine Overdrive, fantastic game. The maneuverable, the the how how you maneuvered, the gunplay, mm-hmm. the very unique weapons. The it was first off a hilarious game. Um, I yes. I'll, I'll never forget the. Uh, do you remember uh, when you respond? There was always <laughs> a fun, a fun way oh, you respond. Yeah. Yeah. One of my favorite ones was a a, a van drove like at, like onto the screen, and then uh, the doors open, and you just got kicked out. <laughs> like and it just and they just drove away. It's just really cool and random. Like you just died to the zombie. Now you wake up and you get kicked out. It's really fun. There was one where it was um uh, a coffin. You, you you like rose from the dead and so. Oh it's yeah, such yeah, a cool yeah. game. Um, and it was like a self aware too. It broke the fourth wall at the end of the game. Don't know if you remember oh, Alex. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. it, like uh, and it, and and they were like, no, we're not ending the game or something like that. And they you went and killed the big bad or something. Crazy because I wouldn't mind going back to that game, but right now for now right now like why why would i but like i wish i had a reason you technically have the dlc now so there's new content we haven't played that could be a reason but so many games that's true there's so many games forza Horizon I mean, I'm 2 playing, oh go I'm ahead playing G- I'm, I'm playing gta san andreas right now i mean yeah yeah, yeah i mean why would you go back to an old game when you could go back to an old game hey, right forza horizon 2 is the first uh, actual Horizon game that made me fall in love with the franchise. Horizon 1, I did love. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. But I think 2 really nailed it. And I was like, oh, really paying attention to the franchise. Like, well, this is actually a really good uh, car play. Because uh, there was a lot of games that I just didn't jive with uh, racing-wise. Well, you, were, you weren't into racing back then. I, I when... wasn't really at all. Yeah. Uh, the only time I really enjoyed racing were two very specific games. Need for Speed Underground 2 on the PS2 and Need for mm-hmm. Speed Most Wanted on the Xbox 360. Those were the two yep racing games that i enjoyed i did not enjoy any of the other ones and then because every time i played any other ones i always sucked but when i played this one you could kind of suck and it helped you a lot though you had the arrows i could follow Mm -hmm. it told you when to break it like you know it was very helpful for someone that never really learned how to play racing games so this Mm -hmm. was kind of like a really nice way to start off kind of learning racing games it was a really good time yeah i remember uh i came over and we were playing we had the two TVs in the bedroom, and you were playing Need for Speed Undercover, and it was the black and goldish cover, the one with the Porsche. And you were trying to do this race, and you kept you kept like not being able to do it just because I mean, you were like, you were like, oh my god, what am I doing wrong? Yeah, I was like, and uh, what was I playing? Oh god, I, oh I think I was playing Devil May Cry, and I was just not into Devil May Cry, so I was like, here, you play my game, I play your game. Yep, and then we, we switched off, that. and yep. I had way more fun playing Devil May Cry. And I had and way I more just, fun playing Need for I, Speed. I, I tore. Oh my god, that was so good that game. I was doing yeah. such crazy combos. Such a fun game. Um, Outlast. I want to spotlight very quickly. Very cool indie game. Terrifying. Ah, uh, terrifying. Very fucked up game though. <laughs> Be prepared when you go play that. If you do, Dragon Age Inquisition. I'm in love with the Dragon Age franchise. I know way mm. too much about the lore of that uh, that world. Um, Inquisition was that game I needed to like make it. F- that felt like next gen to me. Mm. Like when I played, yeah. I was like, "This feels like like a next Honestly, gen game." I, for- I had forgot that it had came out, and I remember you reminded me like you're like, "Hey, guess what's out?" And I was like, "What?" And you're like, "Dragon Age." I was like, "What?" I was like, I, I need to go get that right now. I was so happy. I, I played. I play, I did. I everything stopped, and I just mm. played that over. You no, know, I played halfway through. Switch over to a new character if I didn't enjoy that, or I'd beat the game. Switch again. Like I did so many different characters. I remember Such I made my character time. too orange one time, and I'm like, ah, I yep. don't want to restart now though. Yep. <laughs> yep. But you eventually did. You're like, I have to. Yep. Uh, and then, l- lest we forget, the game that never dies, Grand Theft Auto V, did re-release um, in 2014. If we remember right, 2013 it releases, and then about a year later, November 8- November 18th, 2014, it releases it for release the a- uh, current gen. 
at the time. And they release one every year. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> That's what it feels like. It, it's it, we ne- we didn't know back then how much this would sell, but oh, we knew God. it was a big deal. But man, the Grand Theft Auto Five sell. I'm still getting ads and stuff about do the Grand Theft Auto Doomsday heist. I'm like, oh, Jesus, all right. I've done that one a lot already. I've done that one a lot. <laughs> all right, now we're going to 2015. I do want to bring in really quickly. We did get the first major upgrade oh. to the dashboard. I did want to bring, take a shout out to Alien Isolation because yes, back then, I, back then I got stuck because that game was terrifying and yeah. I never finished it. I finished it earlier this year. Amazing game. 2015 saw the new Xbox One experience update. Mm-hmm. Added like Windows 10 features and things like that. This this is when I think of OG Xbox One. I think of this screen right here, Alex, if you have it on here. We're on Windows Central Evolution Xbox One dashboard. This mm-hmm. screen right here, Alex, if uh, Achievers, if you don't remember, this is the 2015 one. So think of your screen in the middle. On the left, you have friends, your party, your messages. On the right, there's always like ads. Underneath, you have the one guide. And then you have, mm-hmm. were they pins back then, Alex, that you got underneath the screen? Or were they just games that were put there? I think you can pin those and it would just be that you could, it would go down. Not sure, though. I think you can pin it because you were always still. I think you were still be able to pin like like your most recent stuff that you played. It would go under that. Yeah, I think you're right. I'm pretty sure you're right. You remember when it uh, it added uh, a Cortana voice assistant? Yes. Yeah, because they added that to the new phones. And they were trying to make mm-hmm. that a thing on um, Windows 10. Hi, I'm Cortana. And like what? no one cared. No mm-hmm. one cared. Literally, whatever no happened to Cortana? Yep, and then there was a connect navigation to hold. <laughs> hold your hand here for a few seconds. All right, now pull, yep. push it's it. Like, like, yeah, it's like such a stupid feature. <laughs> such a stupid ass feature. We're in 2015. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, Fallout 4, Metal Gear Solid 5. This is when it really starts going. 2014 kind of mm-hmm. sucked. 2015, pretty hot. Or in the Blind yep. Forest, Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. Oh. Um, this was the re release. Just yes. so the achievers know. Yeah, because the original Rise was on 360. Yeah, it was on 360. Just so the achievers like, wait, that doesn't make any sense. That mm-hmm. This was the re release that included the DLC with it. The DLC. Rise of mm-hmm. the Tomb Raider. And again, remember, no backwards compatibility yet. So that was the only way to play Dark Souls 2, or you had a 360. Mm-hmm. Remember, remember, um, I don't remember, it was, was it a VP or something? Some fucking guy. Remember this dude in the interview when they launched the Xbox One? They're like, they, uh, the interviewer asked him a question, they were, because they were asking about the internet. They're like, hey, so like, what if someone uh, doesn't have internet or have internet access to these games? And he's like, well... We have a system for them. Um, it's called the Xbox 360. <laughs> and I was like, I remember that. you're such a fucking cocksucker, dude. <laughs> like, that is such a <laughs> dick ass thing to say. You know what you're doing. But I remember reading that and going, this dude's kind of a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we have God. this system called the 360. Yeah, no, we have a system for that. It's called the Xbox 360. And I was like, you're a fucking dick, dude. <laughs> you fucking like, dick. We want to play our old games. Go play your old games. It's like, and not to not to be that guy. Jim Ryan said almost that verbatim. Let's not forget he said, "That's why I'm a little scared because I love both sides. I'm not this fucking guy who's like Xbox rules, whatever. I love both sides." But remember, Jim Ryan said, "Yeah, I was walking by an event and saw Gran Turismo Three playing on a PS3, and I said, who would want to play this? I don't know who would want to play this.'" That sounds an awful lot like go play on your 360. And that just makes me worried. Like, mm, I don't know if you want Jim Ryan, your fucking CEO, talking like that about mm. products that you used to sell. <laughs> like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Anyways, um, Divinity Journal Sin was re released. Forza Motorsport 6, Castle Crashers Remastered. Let's see, Batman Arkham Knight. Sexy yep. ass game. DMC Devil May Cry Definitive Edition. I liked this game a lot. I know uh, you did. Halo 5. We have to talk about Halo 5. 
We have to. We have to. NFL 16, Gears of War was re-released. I remember that. I loved play, replaying those. Metal mm-hmm. Kombat 10, Dying Light, Old Blood, Lego Dimensions. Oof, God, Lego Dimensions. Holy shit. Ooh, Oof. I forgot about I that. I forgot about that a lot. I forgot about that a lot. forgot about that a lot. Let's start with... Um, you so pick let's one. Let's go back. I've been, I've been, I've, 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 I've been mm. going. You pick one. Is there anything that I said? The, and, and this is the beginning of 2015, right? This is a lot. This was all over the place. All no, 15. no, no. Let's, cool start with, let's, let's start with the like the biggest game out of all that. Uh, biggest game, Witcher, Witcher 3. Like, yes, that's what I was about to say. Witcher 3. Witcher 3 is... That, mm, that yeah, game took... Like, as in, like it took the longest to beat. Like There was oh, so yeah. much content in that game. Yeah, Witcher 200 was... hours plus that I put into that game. I, I think I put 100 plus easily. Um, not including DLC. That was before DLC was even released for the game. I put that much. Mm, I think I think that was mine after DLC was like two hundred. Yeah. So uh, this was outstanding game. This was a like, phenomenal game, and this put CD Projekt right on the map. Now let's not forget, Witcher Two did really well. As, uh, it did really well as well. Jesus. Yeah. See, I never, I had never, I saw two, but I never played two. I loved two. So when three was getting hyped up, I was like, Mm. I always had two and I never played Mm -hmm. it. I tried it and I just couldn't get to it. And I was like, let me try again. That kind of beginning part's a little bit of slog. So once you make it through that, the game opens up beautifully, um, both narratively, both combat wise, in every way of the uh, the term. It it opens up in such a fantastic game. And I finally got through and I was like, this game is. Awesome, Triss, you're really nice. Can we bang? We can. Holy fuck, we can. Oh uh, yeah, this game's awesome now. You know, there's so many cool things. And then Witcher Three comes along, and I just fall. I fall head over heels. I fall in love with this game. I love Geralt. Mm-hmm. I love Yennefer. I love Triss. I love the plot of trying to find Siri. Mm-hmm. Um, I love her. And on a unicorn. Yes, of course, Yennefer fucking on a unicorn. Although my OG playthrough, I got together with Triss. Mm-hmm. I fucked up. I should have went with Yen. They mm-hmm. they got a much better relationship going on. Not important. Yeah. Series cool ability to like go through dimensions. Mm-hmm. The cool um. Do you remember when you're chasing her? Okay. Uh, through like the snowy area, and you're like this yes. other dimension. You don't even know where you are. Yeah, so, uh, that was so cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, the whole idea, the idea of the wild of the hunt. hunt. Yeah, I was about to say the the wild hunt. Mm-hmm. Like it, it's it's crazy because I feel like I've seen after that game, and they're called the wild hunt or whatever. Yeah. I feel like I've seen two more times in either game or movie or show something was like, oh, this is called the hunt or the wild hunt, and it's like a set of people, and I'm like. Is this is part of Witcher Three? <laughs> like, I feel like I've seen that idea, yeah, a couple times after, and it's interesting because I mean it's so cool. That game is always gonna hold a special uh, place in my heart, mm-hmm. and well, I just hope they don't fuck it up with the rem- with the remaster. They won't fuck it up. Pretty hard to fuck up that game. Fallout Four, we're close uh, with Fallout Four. Fantastic game. Mm-hmm. Fantastic game. Um, Alex, can you vamp for me for a second? I have to go do something. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I mean, Fallout 4 was awesome, especially with customization of your character. I mean, I remember in 3, I don't, there's not, it wasn't much customization. It's been so long since I played 3. But with 4, I mean, you start off right off the bat, I mean, in this little town. Uh, you can customize your wife, and you can customize yourself, or uh, vice versa. It depends on which character you are, if you're the wife, and then you want to play the... It's. I mean, other than that, the customization was really cool. I uh, After that, I mean, Cogsworth, I believe that's... Not Cogsworth, Jesus. Not Cogsworth. Um, oh, God, I'm blanking on the, the robot's name. Oh, uh, no, it is Cogsworth, okay. Um, the but the robot butler. Yep. I mean, you see him, but then you know the nuke happens, and then you wake up, and you gotta, f- you wind up seeing the the wife that died. I mean, the idea of that game is so cool. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, because I because at the time I never really played Fallout, rather than three or three. I mean, I started with three, and I only played that one once, and uh, but I really liked it. And then I played, well, I guess, and then I played New Vegas. New Vegas was, it was, it has a special place in my heart. Uh, but it, that's by, you know, a whole different, uh, different people. And then for, and with Fallout 4, I mean, 
Achiever, I so just, sorry about that, by the way. Very sorry. Yeah, a friend you, called. I want to make sure nothing bad was happening. All good. Oh, we just we just talking stuff. Talking shit. Mm-hmm. Now we're talking. I, I, I was go. talking about the the robot, and I said Codsworth, and I was like, no, that's not it. So I had to like look it up. I'm like, no, it's that's Codsworth. It. Yeah, you nailed it. Yeah. I, as soon as you said Codsworth, I was like, oh yeah, Codsworth. At first, I thought you were going Valentine. Love that dude. He's my homie. Valentine was yeah. such a cool character. I loved him. Cogsworth was awesome. I loved um Oh my god, Patty? The news reporter. Oh my god. Oh. I don't remember. That's not it's not important. News reporter lady was really cool. Um but Valentine was like It's what? been so long since I played it, but wasn't there like an a friendly uh super mutant? That was or was that Fallout seventy six? New Vegas. Oh, New Vegas. Was that? It was. Oh, that was New Vegas. Okay, because I didn't. I mentioned yeah, New, Vegas, New Vegas. And I had a deep. And I had a deep thing, in, uh, like special place in my heart, and I was like, maybe that's why I'm thinking of it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there was definitely not a super mutant. You had. I remember you had a brother, a steel friend, that had yeah. the armor on and stuff. Um, Metal Gear Solid Five. My first entry into Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> I was so confused. <laughs> Alex, I was so confused. I have no idea. I I I've played through that entire game. I have mm. no idea what happened. I think I was a spy that was building an army to fight another Spec Ops army. Which game is this again? Metal Gear Solid Five: Phantom Pain. Oh, I see. I I did like the little beginning. You and didn't I play. Never yeah, do you even play yeah. this game? I just want to bring this up because this is my first time playing this game. And again, I'm not blaming the game. It's not my, you know, it's not its fault. I didn't play any other ones, although you should assume some people haven't played your other games. Mm -hmm. Um, So much nonsense. But, like, it was still a great game. The gameplay was so good. I didn't care. I barely understood what was going on. Shout out to the, I guess, hallucination scenes with the lady. If you played the game, you know what I'm talking about. But, like, whatever that was, it was really cool because it did really fuck with your mind. And then at the end, you're like, what? Yeah, when I started playing and I started, I was like, okay, I'm on my horse. I started uh, riding at night and I don't know, weird alien zombie things chasing me in the middle of the night. I'm like, what the hell am I playing? And then I stopped playing. I had such a wrong idea what Metal Gear Solid 5 was. I thought Metal Gear Solid was just super serious army tactical like, RP, like, uh, like Spec Ops. To, like, like, tactical RP. espionage game is what I thought. Mm-hmm. Um, no, the first, like you said, you're, you're, you're on a horse, you turn around, there's a man made of fire chasing you. What? Th- I was like, what the fuck is this game? I was like, what's happening? And then there's this reptile man. <laughs> that I don't even know why he was bad, but he was. He was doing mm-hmm. something. A fucking weird game. It good, but weird. Yeah. Uh, bah, 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 bah. I don't have too much on this. Um, Batman Arkham Knight, incredible uh, game. Nightfall, yeah. Protocol Nightfall was. Mm-hmm. I'll never forget. All that DLC, you could have yes. all those all those costumes. Dude. I remember when Robin was announced, you were hyped as fuck. I remember that. Uh, the Batgirl yep. DLC was really cool. The um, Red Hood DLC was mm-hmm. fucking. Aw- I I lost my shit. I was like, I can't believe they're putting this in the game. Like, I couldn't yeah. believe it. And I play, played it. It was so good. Mm-hmm. So good. Um, let's end it with Halo 5. And we'll move on to okay. 2016. Okay. I want a definitive Halo 5 conversation very quickly. We're playing Halo Infinite. So we got to play a little bit of Infinite to kind of really think about 5. What? I ask you, Alex, how Halo 5... What did you think looking back now? Do you think about it fondly in any way? Is it all bad? Did you enjoy any aspects of any of it? Just what what is your looking back right now thoughts on Halo 5? I am hmm. So I I feel like I understand what they try to do now um talk about the campaign. Oh, okay. I, uh, I yeah, that was that was going somewhere else, but okay. Yeah, I well, I'll, I'll talk no, no. about the multiplayer yeah, in a second. Yeah, no, no, no. Please, please. yeah, campaign wise. Yeah, I could see what they were trying to do because at the time it's like they, like I said, Halo Waypoint. They had this uh, mini series. They're like, oh, you know, you see this new Spartan, Spartan Lock, 
and then they announce them in the game. You're like, oh, it's gonna be like kind of like Quantum Break. It's gonna intertwine. It's gonna kind of intertwine with each other. But the way they projected on how, what, how, like how it is in the game, terrible. Like I gave honestly, I gave no fucks while I playing Spartan Lock. I just wanted to be Master Chief and his team the whole time, because I I cared about him and what was going on with Cortana versus Spartan Lock. Oh, I gotta go chase Chief. I don't care. You gotta go chase Chief. Leave him be. <laughs> it's it's a hard and hard place. Like that Halo, game. Is, Halo ugh. Five is clear that halfway through they threw out the script and had to redo a lot of shit. I mean, yeah, I mean they were like they had to It's obvious, the whole right? Part. Writers like, left all over the place. Yeah. Uh people had to change complete directions of the entire game. True There's original whole pieces, trailer. Yeah, the original trailer makes zero is sense. There in the desert just absolutely with a zero sense. Just zero it sense. Fly, it thing flies off he has like dog tags. I'm like, "All right, yeah. What is happening? Clearly a completely different story different was happening. Nothing to do with this. I do appreciate what they try to do with mm-hmm. Red versus Blue. They try to make that a thing almost. Yeah, Didn't much. work. Yeah. Didn't work. I do like that they introduced new Spartans to kind of make co-op make sense. Yeah. Didn't work. A lot mm-hmm. of things that they tried to do and either they didn't commit correctly or it was at the end of the day, a giant waste of time, which all yeah. of it was basically a giant waste of time. Because yeah, none like of these characters to... got any development. They were just introduced no. as like these side people that hold guns in the background. Like it's just... mm-hmm. like literally, like I could tell they try to make Spartan Lock as badass as Master Chief because they're like, oh, you know, Chief can't be the only awesome Spartan, you know? Which I'm fine. Which, it... yes, I'm g- that. Yes, cool. I don't like when. And I know this is a fun storytelling tool, but I don't like the knight in shining armor all the time. I don't like yeah. that there's one hero that... Uh, that's why Dragon Ball Z, although I love a lot of aspects, it's fucking boring when Goku is always the guy always. doing everything. It gets yep. boring after a while. So I did like what they tried to do, but it was mm-hmm. clear they did not dedicate to that. Mm-mm. They just fucking put him to the side at the end, and hey, Chief just went and did everything again. So like, what was... You missed like I would have I would have rather point. Spartan Lock just been like, all right, I can see your fucking point. I'm going to join you now, and that's when that's kind of what thinks. happens at the end, but not really. No, he still goes after him. He no, just but it, don't they like? Doesn't he agree to like stop or? I don't. It's I. It's been, I, don't I, think so. I think I think story. I, all I, from what I remember, I'm probably wrong. I remember them fighting. I remember Chief looking down at Lock and be like. I gotta find this. I'm doing this, whether you like it or not. It's away, and then Spartan Lock doesn't chase him anymore. I don't remember. Maybe he they did fight together. Don't remember. I played this I campaign once. Uh, yeah, I. And, that's how and, enticing it is. Well, that's what I'm saying, and that speaks to the game. We played it one time, and we have not wanted to go back. And we are giant Halo fans. I think that speaks to more to the game than anything else that we say here. Is. Yeah. Clearly, they did something wrong. Mm. We don't give a fuck about the story and barely remember it. Now the, I mean, now the gunplay. I mean, it, multiplayer. I mean, it's, it, that, let's yeah. lead it. That's a great way to yeah. say it. The gunplay, multiplayer. At the time, I remember seeing multiplayer and how fast everything was, and going, "What the fuck is this? It this is, is too much like Halo. Call of Duty. This is not Halo. This is way too fast. Why are there thrusters? I already was seeing the matches play in my head where I'm just going to get demolished by way better players than me. It's because this was around the time when, wasn't it Advanced Warfare or Infinity Warfare came out? What year that I know what you're saying. Something else did have a thruster mechanic. And, and it had did. a like, similarity. I remember seeing it happen and go... Mm, Advanced Warfare was 2014. Was it- yeah, but and it, yeah, uh-huh. it was fresh in our mind. It wasn't something literally they took it. They took no, the it's just, it, but it, it was, just felt very similar. Yeah, and I was like, now, Oof, very I mean, quickly, this is too very much. quickly though, looking back though, I do appreciate mm. the multiplayer though because they did actually really do try. They did try to modernize it in a very specific way. Yeah, I they got rid of what the you know the little reach you know thing that they 
What do they call? Well, they the got rid of got sprint st- being an ability, which was fucking stupid. Yeah, that was stupid. Like, it's just fucking whatever. dumb. <laughs> it's really like, stupid. Like, so I can't run. <laughs> <laughs> I need an ability for that. What the fuck? It's so dumb. Um, and yeah, I again with the shield thing, like those things were way too OP. There was one thing where you could like slam the this ground man, and you yeah. were just invincible. It's like this is kind of strong. <laughs> yeah. Um, I tried going back to the multiplayer before Infinite, uh, like around the time Infinite was announced, and we, I was like, you know what? Let me go back and give it a try. I get demolished every time. Yeah, it's just it's something. I you... like. I have no, no, nothing. I have no chance. Yeah, it's just it's unfortunately it wasn't popular enough to keep casual people so we can play against because now it's just gamers. It's just nothing but gamers on that thing, just mm-hmm. popping off all the time. Yep. Well, we're done with 2015, Alex. On to 2016. Mm. Inside, Dark Souls 3, Forza Horizon 3, Titanfall 2, Dishonored 2, Rocket League, Axiom Verge, um, Gears of War 4, Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. I said that just for me. All right, just for me. Mm-hmm. Doom. Battlefield 1. Super hot. I, I didn't know that came out that year. Final Fantasy Weird. 15. Hmm. Go to the next phase. Life is Strange. A lot of games this year. Yes. Uh, kind of, I want to talk about a lot of them, but it, it can only pick. <laughs> yeah, me too. Watch Dogs 2. The best of oh. the Watch Dogs. Quantum oh. Break. Oh my god. So many. Uh, Far Cry Primal. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Alright, we'll stop there. Okay, I enjoy. Okay, I, I, Nate, I give sorry, a shout yes. out to yeah. Go so wa- let's go Watch Dogs two. Yes, because I I have to bring it up. I have to Watch Dogs Legion is what the fuck disappointing compared to two. It's I love two. How did I've you? Met, I've been in that game three times. How did you mess up the parkour system again? You figured it out. Why did you mess it up? That is my biggest complaint with that video game. Why did you fuck it up? How? You figured out to make the traversal fun on foot. You had a very cool character in... Um, I'm Marcus? In Bear, thank, I was going to say Marcus, and I thought I was wrong. Thank you. Yeah, um, Marcus, you, have a, you, got re- you got Wrench. You have a fun character in Marcus. Him very like free running, doing these kind of fun backflips off gates and stuff. Very cool. Mm-hmm. So like this weird, he's like a hipster. He's like a hipster. G- he is, uh, yeah, he's a hipster hacker. Kind of, kind of, kind of a hacker kid. Yeah. Um, loved his customization. You can oh, really look yes. cool with his mm-hmm. kind of windbreaker esque jacket and his little hat mm-hmm. and his backpack. I loved like comboing all that together, and making a really cool outfit. And yeah, he is such um, a fun character. I loved his Quinks. little um. What did you, the what do you call those things? Oh, the bolo. The bo- the bolo. Was it a bolo? Thing, the- was it? Is that I what they what were? Uh, let me see. I uh, couldn't. Say, I, I thought there were like Watch something Dogs. specific a kid would Watch have. Two, Marcus. They might have been bolas. You might be right, actually, yeah, Alex. Alex. Um, this was actually the only game that I've ever looked at and played a very specific way because narratively it made sense. I couldn't kill anyone. Thunder, the Thunderbolt is Marcus Holloway's primary melee weapon in Watch Dogs Two. It's a use uh, to attack enemies. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's called the Thunderball. I wonder if. They, it, it literally, it's like a little, a, a little chain ring thing with a, a string. Honestly, looks kind of, kind of like the the paracord or those little rubber band yeah. things you used to make, and then a ball at the end. And she, he just grabs it, and, wah, and whips it. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Um, it oh, it's th- a billiard. It's made up of a billiard bar, a billiard, uh, a billiard ball, and some la- and a lanyard. Oh. So it has a billiard bar at the end. The end. Ooh, okay, yeah, so hurt. it makes sense. A kid could could yeah. Oof. It probably doesn't feel great when you're yoinked yeah. against it. Um, but this was this was Watch Dogs. Like this is what we thought mm-hmm. we were gonna get in one mm-hmm. with the combat specific, of course, not the character, but the combat, yeah. the the way you did everything, the cool. Th- the I, I I very much remember. I think it was E3 that they were demoing this. That they had three ways of combating any situation as Marcus. It was one ghost, two hacker, three blazing attacker. 
or something like that. Basically, what it was is you either hack everything and never get never go into the the place to begin with. Mm-hmm. You either stealth into it or you go in and you just fucking yoink everybody. Mm-hmm. And those are the three ways they always went into a mission thinking like we need to make three ways of doing every mission and they nailed it that's that's how it was you could either send your little drone guy in and his little bouncy wheels very adorable Mm -hmm. go in there he he go boot into the thing he needs to which i always did i loved never needing Mm -hmm. to go into the building i loved that aspect or stealthing was Mm -hmm. usually how to do it i never fought as marcus he always seemed like a guy that did not want to fight people and if I ever did, he had a little stun gun that I and then ran away. I was about to say, uh, sidebar to the customization, that's how I actually found out how uh, my save gate raced. But I'll go back to that in a second. Yes. Um, yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I I loved the uh, option in this game to where, like, you do not have to kill anyone. Nope. You can have a stun gun. I literally used the stun gun or the stun weapons and did not kill one person in that game this is the first time i kind of rp'd into a game i kind of role played as marcus first Mm -hmm. off this dude's like 22 maybe i don't think he's running around with a shotgun blowing holes in fucking people's heads no so doesn't really make sense narratively to just run around with a shotgun to people's throats second it just makes more sense to just have a stun gun on him he snaps Mm -hmm. someone he's a hacker he's not trying to murder and also the whole time he's preaching about um I forget that he doesn't obviously he doesn't like the mega corporation he's going against, but he's preaching about like unity. I mean, if they go to uh, 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 fireman. Uh, oh God, the, the, the music festival in the desert. Oh, fireman! Oh they the, I, the giant man. They set it on fire. Burning I know what you're man. About. Burning man. Burning man. Burning yeah. man. They go to the Burning Man festival and the it's it's a bunch of really cool stuff. Um. So it just never made sense that they gave you the ability of straight up just blowing people away. Wild. Mm-hmm. Um, very, it's just quick shout out. Life is Strange changes the way I look at video games. Oh, by the way, the, his weapon was called a bolus. Okay, so that's what it was yeah, called. Yeah, so it was. Nice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I realized because I had my, my Marcus cause, like dressed in nice, like in a white, like kind of suitish type yeah. of thing. And I restart the game. Or not restart the game. I, st- I, I boot it up and I'm like, okay. I'm over here wearing camo shorts and a green shirt and like no hat or whatever. And I'm like, who touched my guy? And Why I'm do like, I look like I just walked out of a 7 Eleven and bought the cheapest outfits there? <laughs> yep. And I was like, hey, did you mess with my watchdogs? He was like, yeah, I wanted to play it. So I just hit restart. I was literally two missions away from beating the game. I had 60 hours plus in the game. I probably didn't come back to this game for like a week or two, but then came back and winded up beating it all. Did and did not even care. I loved it. I was mad at the at the moment, but I loved it. I feel so like good. a red a flag game. would be start new game, right? Kind of a red flag there, right? Like like it didn't pr- say like, begin. My it's little brother wasn't aware that it doesn't do, do a second save because you know how certain games do. Yeah, certain new game, second save guess, yeah, he wasn't paying attention. I guess uh, clearly and he, was just, he like, was just mashing A because I'm yep. sure it came up with um, "You're gonna delete your save, is that okay?" And he's like, "Stupid menus." <laughs> yep, <laughs> just deleted your whole ass save. Uh, but special shout out, Life is Strange, incredible yep. game. Loved every second of it. Yes. Um, Dark Souls Three, Jesus. It's um, actually one of the easier Dark Souls. The actually the it's actually the easiest Dark Souls. Easiest, yeah, easily, it is. It easily, is. I'll easily say that it is the easiest by far. Yep. Um, Titanfall two, we get a campaign. Yep, it was good. I love yep. Titanfall two. Uh, shout yep. out to Gears of War four. This also released, and I love to Gears of War four. Another kind of underrated game. I feel like uh, not too underrated though, but I feel like not enough people gave it like a fair shot. I think a lot of people wanted wanted to go in not liking it because they loved how three ended so much. But I, yep. I do enjoy how four ended. Um, or I do enjoy the story of four. Now I don't love the reason the locusts are back. I'm like okay. Whatever. I was like, you could have made a new thing, I feel like. Yeah, right. Um, Doom 2016, I love. 
that's really it for 2016 though for me alex yep there was a lot 14 or 15 sorry i like 15 yep i played the heck out of that let's see okay we're in this let's go 2017 we'll start with the dashboard first oh you gotta go go ahead okay we got a couple here in 2017, Resident Evil 7, Assassin's Creed Origins, very good game, Life is Strange Before the Storm, South Park, The Fractured But Whole, God, we didn't, Achievers, when we get a new South Park game? Now, you might be saying to yourself, Matt Smith, Trey Parker, they're too busy. They're doing, first off, they're already rich, why, why make more stuff? They should make more stuff, because those games are very good. They should make more South Park games, all right? Matt, Matt yes. Stone, Trey Parker, I know you're avid Easy Achiever fans, and I know you listen every week. Okay, so put down the bagel and really listen for a second. Go to Ubisoft <laughs> and say, hey, do you want to make another game? First, you ha- they're going to be like, oh, you can. Let's make it a live service game. I need you to then punch Yves Skillmont in the face. Say, stop it with this bullshit. We're not making a live service game. Shut your fucking mouth. We're going to make a regular ass game, okay? Then pick him up, dust him off, give him a little kiss on the cheek, say he's pretty, and then we're going to make fucker. a self-part game. Anyways... Um, we have a couple things. This is kind of a weak year. Um, if I remember it correctly. Uh, we have Shadow of... We have Injustice 2, Shadow of War, Outlast 2, Wolfenstein 2. Let's see here. I've been in two of those games. <laughs> uh, we have... Uh, why aren't you going back? Sorry, sorry, Achievers. Give me one second. It's yeah, freaking, it's, it's yeah, freaking it's, out. Yeah, 2017 doesn't sound like they had big hitters, but uh, Xbox One games. Let's see well, if I well, can this, While that loads, I'm going to go back to the dashboards. We did get the creators update is what it was called. Um, yes. They did a new design. Um... Oh, they have, so again, we're using Windows Central. I'm just going to read their expert uh, right here. Um, Microsoft revised and adapted this design throughout the next couple years, adding early elements of Microsoft's fluent design system for Windows 10. This update also finally killed off snap mode, owing to the low, uh, to, uh, owning to low usage, freeing up more system resources for other things. Microsoft's platform lead of the day, Mike Yabara, which is now at... Um, Blizzard uh, it says, quote, we replace Snap to improve multitasking, reduce memory use, improve overall speed, and free up resources going forward for bigger things, end quote. This update added Dolby Atmos, Windows Sonic support for more dynamic surround sound options, and added a range of refinements to the guide menu, which some had called confusing. This update also bring Beam Pro, Microsoft's newly acquired streaming system now called Mixer. Microsoft also added a feature called Copilot, oh, wow. allowing you to split controls of a single game across two controllers, which proves invaluable for accessibility. We're starting to see the kind of beginnings of the accessibility conversation with Xbox slowly going into a giant ecosystem. Now, Alex, we're in 2017. I did unfortunately skip something that I wanted to cover. Mm. Let's not forget we got different iterations of the Xbox One. Uh, the original yeah. model being the big boy. Then from 2016 on, uh, we got the Xbox One S, the much better, better, better version of every in yes. every single way, the much better version. Um, and then in 2017, we do see the Xbox One X come out, leading on to 2020, and then the all digital system coming out in 2019, going into 2020. But we did get the One X this year, which is a very special game or a very special system. I love that game uh, system. We did get mm-hmm. another update this year. The first creator update design didn't stick around for very long. In the, very, the exact same year, Microsoft advanced it again for the second half of 2077, incorporating even more fluent design system features, adding acrylic blurring effects to certain UI elements. The fall creators update also added some modularity to the home screen, which persists to this day. You can remove and customize the blocks that appear beneath the home screen. In addition to the main twist that you can navigate left and right, in this update, Microsoft also revamped the guide to be on a horizontal axis, making it more reminiscent of the classic Blades UI of yesteryear. This is when they incorporate the kind of... The UI we actually have now when you hit the home button of the going back and forth uh, from a side screen that comes to to your uh, system. 
Uh, going back, we have Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, Assassin's Creed Origins, Life is Strange Before the Storm, South Park to Fracture But Whole. <sighs> Ellie, Ellie Noir got re-released. <laughs> I mean, this, yeah, this is not a crazy year. Cuphead, Hitman, Evil Within 2, Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen, Dishonored. Yeah, I mean, Alex. I mean, we, I mean, we really enjoyed Assassin's Creed Origins. I mean, yeah, but I, I, overall, as a year, very, pretty weak. That yeah, pretty weak. well, because, I mean, and to be fair, there was other stuff, like, not on Xbox. I mean, we had, on the Switch, we had Breath and things like that, so. Because it was a really But we're talking about Switch. Xbox, Alex. I know, we're talking but about I'm just Xbox, saying. Alex. <laughs> I'm just saying. Xbox's 2017 year, how about that, is pretty yeah, weak. Yeah, it is, it's pretty weak. Anything of those games you want to talk about or the cr- or creator's update? Hmm. No, because like I said, I already mentioned this. I have to give origins. Yeah, we do have I mean, to give I, origins the love. It was it 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 took a step in a different direction, and I it actually did. did really enjoy it. So. It did, and a lot of people s- still don't like it. Really, not a lot. But people want Assassin's Creed games back. They don't want the kind of RPG split that they've went on in the past three games. That's true. Which That's true. I feel like people got rose colored glasses with some of those games. Not all of them were good. And they also didn't control really great. Not saying these control very good either, but they control a little bit better. Oh, there's your favorite game right there, Destiny Two. <sighs> Destiny Two, it's on the screen. Mm-hmm. I forgot this came out that year too. I don't know if you probably mentioned it. Fortnite. I did not actually. Um, yeah, uh, Fortnite released in twenty seven, twenty fifth, twenty seventeen. Yeah. So of course, achievers, this is not Fortnite as of today. This no, was Fortnite yeah. Save the World back then. Um, mm-hmm. They wouldn't go into beta with actual Fortnite game. until about a year later, I believe. It was a year later when f- actual Fortnite became a thing. The battle royale, yeah, it became a thing because they hey, it released it, both at the same time. Yeah. But it wasn't big until the year after. Yeah, well, I wouldn't say it wasn't big until about season three. So about I'd say they released battle royale, and about a year after that, they mm-hmm. they get season three. Uh, that season three to season five is is when the fucking ceiling explodes. And the game mm-hmm. becomes what Fortnite is now. Um, yeah. Just this it's mega just, game. Just this yeah, giant, ever-changing game that just dominates. 2018. Getting closer and closer. 2018. Red Dead 2. Forza Horizon 4. Hellblade, Sea New Sacrifice. Celeste. Fantastic game. Monster Hunter World. Dead Cells, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I've never even beaten this game. <laughs> Me neither. A Way Out, Lego DC Super Villains. Oh, we love The Way Out. Yeah, Way Out is really good. No Man's Sky gets um, no re-released a, and yeah. um, redone, basically. I think that was the No Man's Sky is next. That's, yeah, that that's, that's, that's what it was called, game. next. Yeah, they mm-hmm. fully fixed the game in quotes you know whatever you want to t- take remember this game far cry 5 Le- lego the incredibles far cry 5 very fun game battlefield 5 fighters dragon ball fighters very good hitman 2 the last game in the banner saga trilogy banner saga 3 very good game very good set of trilogies achievers go play those if you enjoy um uh Tactical role playing basically is kind of how it is. It's not XCOM, but it's in a tactical role playing game. I'll leave it. I at have that. to. I have to mention this game because I really Go thought ahead. this game would be like such a hit, but I just feel like it just took a wrong path. Vampire. I thought it was going to be a good game too. I thought it was going to be great. I was from, like from when we first disappointed. starting the game. We're like, oh, this game is dope or whatever, yes. and then it just it just got boring and just never went back to it. It had this social hierarchy system in the game and then they wanted you to like talk to everyone to like get leads Uh, or something i don't even remember but i remember getting past the like first major not chunk of the game but like yeah i guess you could say the first couple chapters or something however you want to say it Mm mm-hmm and I remember getting past that part and they start like showing you like, yeah, you can go talk to everyone. And they, they, I think they had like feelings or something that, and like they could be mad at you. Yeah. Fucking, yeah. I don't remember. But I, when it, when all that started happening, I was like, 
I'm good. This is I'm not good, yep. fun. <laughs> this is not fun. I'm not um, having a good time. I'm just going to leave. <laughs> it was very I was weird. looking through the list, and I think there's one more game out of all this that I do need to mention, because to this day we still bring it up or play. Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves. So, it's such a fun game. I was when a naysayer. Was, dude, when it was released, they, I mean, even then, I mean, I still remember great. This is and one of those was... things. This is one of those things where I'm happy I was wrong. I'm very happy I was wrong because I really did think like when I saw this I was like, no fucking way. I'm gonna be really sad when Rare goes out a bit like gets closed. Like that was my mm-hmm. legitimate thoughts. I thought I when I saw what this game was I went, mm-hmm. fuck, we're gonna lose Rare. That sucks. Yep. And I literally wrote wrote them off. I was like, damn, that sucks. I'm so glad I was wrong. They fostered this giant community of players. They've had they have basically this whole game that's happening in the background all the time not in a bad way but in like a like there's a game that's happening that you know just like anything else and it's so cool like i I love that they got to get that to work because i was Mm. really worried about rare rare when it was purchased just kind of sat there not doing anything and eventually we got sea of thieves and we still went, uh, sorry, buddy, this isn't going to work. And, and it worked. And I was like, yes, mm-hmm. that is so good. I remember playing the game and I was like, this is actually kind of fun. Mm-hmm. Everybody's playing the music together yeah. on the <laughs> ship. Yeah. Oh, yep. yeah. It was, the water really looks cool. outstanding. Oh, I can. I, I Sometimes I can never. I'm like, have I seen water this good? <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. Might be best game in game water. Might be best <laughs> in game water. Uh, I, I really quickly will say Bloodstained Curse of the Moon was released this year. Uh, who knew mm. I would want this game over the actual game that I thought I would want, which is, um, uh, I don't even remember the fucking name of it. What was it? Bloodstained? I don't know. Whatever the, the, the game that was actually kickstarted, this was like a bonus. And when they released this, I was like, oh, this is way better. <laughs> this is, <laughs> well, at the time, the other one wasn't released yet. But I played this and I got so addicted to the game i loved it and they eventually released um what was it called you talking about the next one blood cursed or whatever not the site sec- not the sequel to this it was they oh, made okay. blood stain something ritual uh, of the night thank you ritual of the night yeah, that's 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 the you. that's when they tried to well no yeah i meant yes it is the next one. and um they made ritual of the night and i was like this kind of sucks who knew I would prefer the one that was just for fun that they made? Like they didn't have mm-hmm. to make that. They didn't promise that or anything. That was just kind of like a for fun thing. It's usually it so how cool. it is. All the, sometimes, man. Like some sometimes when people would try too hard to make a game, it's bad. And there's like when they make it, it's like oh, let's just make it for. Fun. When they made it's Ritual of the Night, they, they were gonna. Be, they were saying this is gonna be Symphony of the Night. This is gonna be the sequel to Symphony of the Night, like the spiritual successor or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, didn't work. <laughs> didn't work to, for me at least. I did not enjoy that game, but. Shout out to Curse of the Moon 2. That was awesome. Yep. 2019. There's a couple things uh, we were like we we liked. Yeah, yeah. Uh, really quickly though. Red Dead 2, Forza Horizon 4. Fantastic. Red Dead 2. Oh, yeah. I loved. I understand what people mean. It's Rockstar to, makes weird fucking games. Had Red to Dead's one of those games. <laughs> yeah, they're they're very realistic, and they're so realistic that the horses' balls actually move. All right, so like th- these guys are kind of weird with how serious they got to be with their stuff. Um. Oh my god, do you remember what? Why I had to restart? No, I don't. So this was the time where the Xbox One X was out. Yeah, but the one that I got. There are some issues That's right. that uh, the, hard drive. the internal hard drive would have issues and it, w- it won't save. Yeah. It or load or it would pick up the save. I literally was maybe halfway through the game of Red Dead. I, I go to I go to save it. Won't let me save it. Won't let me do anything. I played for about two hours. OK, maybe I can pass this part. I played for two hours. I died. It says resets back to the other one. It wouldn't say it. Nothing would. It, it wouldn't take my saves. So I thought it was the game. Literally, I, so I was like, you know what? Reset the game. It did it again right at the very beginning. I'm like, what is happening? Find out it's my system. Switch my system out. Perfectly fine. So and I guess what? I played that game all the way over. Again. Unfortunate, but at least it wasn't 
to the point where you didn't enjoy the game anymore. No, which no, you, I, which, I, I, which would have been understandable. I surprisingly really loved Red Dead Two. Like yes, I, I did enjoyed too. the fuck out of that game. <laughs> and I, I, did dude, I, I didn't think I was going to. I I was like, people are gonna overhype this game. This game is not gonna be that good. I, I loved Red Dead One, good. so I was completely sold on this game. And see, I I never had beaten Red Dead One. Yeah. You you only got like a third of the way through the game, if I remember. Yeah, correctly. and then I played uh, I played some of the online, which is weird. <laughs> twenty eighteen to early twenty twenty. Here we have the February update, twenty twenty February update, which effectively pulls together and redefines everything Microsoft improved over the past few years. Cortana was moved in twenty nineteen, again owning to low usage, while Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant support came in instead. We got some nifty features like Discord integration for showing what games you're currently playing and clip streaming straight into the guide, as well as direct video sharing to social networks. Microsoft removed the twists, replacing them with an entirely vertical interface on the home dashboard with fully customizable blocks. Microsoft also rearranged the games and app section to promote speed, the lack of which has been a consistent source of criticism on the platform. <laughs> so this is this leads us into 2018 e all the way to 2020. We kind of stick... I mean... This is basically what we have now. So yeah. there's only slight changes that we'll Here see later on. But that's a basically our, our UI now. Our UI, yep. Let's go to the games. Resident Evil 2, Mortal Kombat 11, Gears 5, Return of the Oberdeen, Outer Worlds, Demon Devil May Cry 5, Plague Tale Innocence, Crash Team Racing Nigel Field, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Outer Worlds, Sekiro, Shadow Dies Twice, Control, Bloodstained Retro Night. Uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition, Metro Exodus, Ace Combat 7. Let's see here. Anything else? Fantastic year so far, Alex. Untitled mm -hmm. Goose Game, Guacamelee 2, My Fan Pedro. Hovain, I know some people like. Borderlands 3, Apex Legends. We get the surprise release of Apex Legends around that uh, March time. I think March to May time. February, oh, February thank you. Yeah, um, yeah, we were so confused too because it was like a week or a couple days before, and we're like, "Oh, uh, respawn is making a um, a battle royale game based off Achieve of Titanfall Achievers." If you weren't around this time or just didn't know, and we're getting pretty close. I mean, we started the podcast around here, so we might have even talked about stuff like this around this time. I think we started E three this year. Um, yeah, yeah we could have, anyways. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Really think about this wipe apex from your memory you start hearing rumors of a titanfall battle royale set in the titanfall universe without mm -hmm. titans mm -hmm. and it has like lore elements in it i was like why would i play that <laughs> it sounds yep. awful there's no titans no no titans oh uh, it's okay. called titanfall and they're and they're like it's not gonna be called titanfall i think or something like that I was like, yeah. "What the fuck is it gonna be called?" And it and it's called Apex Legends. I was like, "That sounds terrible." First off, could you thought of a worse name? Could you thought of a worse name? Apex Legends. That just sounds like gibberish. <laughs> gibberish, Alex. Anyways, Kingdom Hearts three. Halo Reach gets re released Ugh. as part of the Master Chief Collection. <laughs> War Groove, good game. I thought that would grind your gear. I, I ignored you. Far Cry New nice. Dawn. Uh, Civ 6 finally gets re released for, for console. And let's stop there. This is a fantastic year. Um, I, feel like, uh, I feel like we got a good ones. Alex, Kingdom Hearts 3. Let's just, oh, let's let's just, think, let's just think about that for a second. Kingdom Hearts 3. Literally waited 13 years for this game, beat it in a week. You were so upset with yourself. I remember you called me. You're like, dude, like we're about to beat this game. We waited so long, and I was like, that's video games, bro. Dude, I, 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 I almost, I almost decided to like replay it again that week because I was like, I beat it too fast. Achievers, really quickly. I was having so much fun. Really quickly, this annoyed me. PSA. Kingdom Hearts Three was not in development for 13 years. A lot of fuckers no. who don't pay attention said that a lot. No. I, I was like, do you read? 
I, I this was one of those yeah. pet peves of mine. Yeah, I've been lot, waiting 13 years since t- uh, two the, came out 13 were, years prior. There was a lot of smart people. This was shocked to me. There's a lot of smart people. I listened on podcasts that were mm-hmm. saying like, yeah, I mean, it's been in development for a long time, and I'm like, it's been in development for like two years. They just started making the game in this would have been yeah, it came out in 2019. They announced that they were gonna start making it in 2016. 2015. Let's see. Either way, it was 2015. Either way, they started development most likely in 2015. Um, because that gives you like four year period. That that just grind my gear. 2013. I, I, it was first announced 2013. Okay. Yeah. E3. Six years, which is yeah. about a triple roughly... A triple A game. That's about mm-hmm. where you're gonna be. You yeah. want to be? I mean, God of War took five years. Yeah, you want to be a little smaller, but they had to make a new engine. So yeah, they had a whole yeah new uh, fighting system type of thing. But um, that's just a pet peeve achievers. So don't don't yeah. catch yourself with that. That is yeah. not true. Not yeah, true. It's just it's just because two came out that long ago. I don't know when that started. No idea when that started. I was like, that's just not right. Yeah, <laughs> at yeah. All. I've heard people. They're like, yeah, no, they immediately started three when I two finished. A lot no, of people were like, not. I can't believe it's been in development for ten years. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, <laughs> Resident Evil Two, surprising game that I liked. Very surprised. I did not think I'd like that. Um, let's talk hmm. about Gears Five. Do you don't want to talk about the best game out of the, of that year? What? Anthem. We have to speak about what atrocity this was, okay? And what, like, what this was. At least give it five minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you mean Anthem the Destiny Killer? Oh, yeah, 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 remember that's that? what it was, right? Remember that? What was this, by you BioWare? remember that? BioWare. This is being made by BioWare. This has to be a good game, right? Has to be. Bioware doesn't fucking miss. They're coming off of Mass Effect. When they, Andromeda. Uh, Ooh. Wait. When they keep showing, oh, an anthem, and they show some black figure thing, I'm like, that's the only thing I've seen for this game. Also, Achievers, quick note, if we skipped over a game that you wanted, I, we only have so much time. We're an hour, 30 minutes in this podcast. We can't talk about everything. But uh, very quickly, go ahead, uh, Alex. Yeah, anthem, yeah. Like, I... I I was it's so such a great idea with this man, and when we first started it too, it's like just the flying was great, but like yes. oh my god, that ending! Oh, the ending! Don't you mean the entirety of the whole game? That's all true. of it was just so the whole story bad. was just so bad. Why, why so can't bad. I? Why can't I look at my inventory when I'm running around? Achievers, really think about this for a second. Why do what I have did to he, go? What did Alex just say? Why, Why can't I, I look at to... my inventory? That's what he just said. Really think about that. Why do I have to teleport all the way back to the main base? We get couldn't out of my suit and look... then go to a stash, and then I can do that. At our inventory, really, really, I, I, I achievers, you're not. You're I mean, not I get we're in a fucking suit and you can't hold it. All this <laughs> you can't out of here. open an inventory system when you're not in the hub world. That is, Alex. How many people do you think that went through to get to us? A hundred, hundred fifty, easily, right? All of those people who who probably was behind like gameplay, we're probably looking at about a hundred people involved in this in some way. Yeah, you tell me that one so person many cared people about that, that have to sign off on this, and not one person said, "Why can't I open my inventory when I'm walking around?" Not, not one <laughs> is infuriating, and don't give me the speech. I know. They probably did, but didn't have to. I, I don't. It's not my problem. And delay it's the not game. My pro, not my problem. Delay the game because that was just because, just because you don't have time you. does not exclude you from criticism. Oh my god! Because that literally broke the game. Oh, this. Oh, this. So many other I, things. So many other things. Would it, literally, if they would have delayed a game a year, like Halo, I feel like it would have been an amazing game. Like, if they would have fixed a lot of things. Yeah, 
I agree. They probably could have fixed a lot. They could have rewrote the fucking story. Mm-hmm. Try to fix that. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to stick on this too long. It's, you, yeah, go ahead, we on. all know Anthem Gears 5. Loved awesome it. game. Yeah. Loved it. Might be my might be my favorite Xbox published game. I'm trying to think. The the competitions in Sunset Overdrive. Gears five. Now are you talking about that generation? Xbox Game Studios for Xbox One. Yes. Got it. Okay. Yeah, that might be. I'm trying to think. Yeah. To be fair, not much to choose from. Let's be honest. That's true. Um, not that much to choose from. <laughs> We have like Gears 4, Gears 5, Forza Horizon, like 2, 3, 4, Motorsport 5, 6, five, six 7. seven. Yeah. Yeah, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, 5, 6, 7. Mm-hmm. Eight, Sunset eight, Overdrive, seven, Rise, yeah. Son of Rome. Fuck, did I just name every Xbox Game Studio exclusive for Xbox One? I can't, right? You have to be missing something. Oh my god, that's sad. Anyways, yeah, I think Gears 5, yeah, my favorite Xbox One exclusive game made by the Game Studios team. Mm -hmm. You know, however you want to put that out. Alex, anything last on 2019? Hmm. No. On to 2020! Yakuza Like a Dragon. Dragon Quest XI Definitive Edition. On Xbox for the first time, Doom Eternal, and the start of COVID. It's uh, yes, that's true. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Crash Bandicoot Four, Sayonara Wild Hearts, Immortals: Phoenix Rising, terrible name. Call of Duty: Black Ops Cold War, terrible name. Resident Evil Three, Mafia Definitive Edition. <laughs> Excuse me, Watch Dogs Legion. Get out. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Maneater, Alex. Oh, love that game. Star Wars Squadrons. Saints Row the Third Remastered. Kingdoms of Amalur Re Reckoning. I've yet to replay that. That's I just got that. We just got that for free on PlayStation. Yes, we did. Yep. Call I'm of Duty Marvel for Two Campaign Remastered. <laughs> I forgot they named it that. I forgot stupid. that that came out. <laughs> Marvel's Avengers. I stick. I uh, will stick with it. I think uh, Valhalla was my game of the year that year. Um, I made a list. Can't remember it. I think Valhalla was it, right? Mm-hmm. No, it was. It was. It was Valhalla. Uh, was part two. Oh shit! Was that twenty twenty? Yeah. Oh, we're talking Xbox. Oh, that's true. <laughs> game. You said game of the year, fuckface. <laughs> mm, that's true. That's why I said. That's why I retracted what I was. The about only to do. thing that reminded me is I. I a memory in the back of my mind was like, well, no, we did a video. What did we say was our number? And then it was like, oh, That's wait, true. Last of Us Part 2. Like, yeah, it was the most was, yeah. unexciting game of the year because, like, it was like, of course, this fucking, that's going to win. No, of course, yeah. And, of course, game. Alex's game of the year, if it had a runner-up, like, don't you say it, Cyberpunk don't you say it. 2077, yeah, you fucking, you're gonna say you fucking I knew bitch. It. You're such a little bitch for, like, a thing. You haven't even... You- Hey, more achievements. <laughs> you fucking love that game. It's not that bad. <laughs> that should be your fuck. You should get that tattooed on your body. It's not that bad. I didn't get I mean, any bugs. No, I didn't Where say I didn't get any. Convulsing I, on the ground. <laughs> no, I, I, no, I, I didn't say I didn't get any bugs. I said the bugs that I got were pretty funny and actually made the game more fun for me. That's true. You did say that. Yeah, because I was like, it was it wasn't game breaking for me, so it was just shit that was happening, and I was like, that is hilarious. I'm gonna keep going with my day, but it wasn't game breaking. If it was game breaking, I would have been pissed off. But it didn't break the game. It just broke the immersion a little bit, and it was. In my first roughly three hours of playing, I experienced no less than seven bugs. One of them was almost game breaking. Mm. Fuck that game. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War was fine. Resident Evil 3, I didn't even play. Um, really, the standouts for me here, Doom Eternal, fantastic game. Came- oh, Warzone came out this year. Oh, that is true. They did start Warzone. This was a weaker year on the Xbox side of things, of course, when you're not including the PlayStation titles. Uh, Dragon Ball mm-hmm. Z Kakarot, I played a lot of. 
uh, because it was a really good achievement game. Man Eater, um, Alex. I thousand the fuck out of Man Eater. Yes, you did. I did it with you. That was such a good game. So fun. Such a good game. Almost redid it again on PlayStation. One day we will. Oh, yeah. I, I won't say we. One day you will. I, I know one day you'll go back to that. I know, and you, yeah. And you'll go. And you'll I come have. To, I have started it. You'll come to me and be like, man, I, I did it again. I thousand man eater. Like, that's exactly yep. how you're saving it. And I, I did this it year, the DLC came out. Got all the achievements for that. Yep. Yep. This is kind of a weaker year. I think this, this was the year of indies for me. I'd, I'd have to go back to my game of the year, but I don't have anything really to say about this year. Um, unfortunately, I. It's, it's um, it was just I think it was, this the big is, thing so. I think it was just towards the holidays, which was with Valhalla, and then and like we had the war we had Warzone, but yeah, this year wasn't much, and I like I mean Destiny Beyond Light for me, yeah, yeah for you, yeah. I was a little bit more busier since my kid was born this year. Of course, of course, yes, yep. you were very busy. I remember trying to get you in raids, and you had to hold her while you were trying to play raids. Oh my god, very adorable. <laughs> I yeah, I literally am doing this and trying to do this. Yep. And then I had to stop, and all you hear is, eh. and you're like, "Oh my like, damn it!" Ch- I was like, "Let's finish this encounter." All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> oh my god. I don't have anything to say about that. I mean, yeah, I, with whatever you want to end out with 2020 mm-hmm. for the games, and then we'll we'll do a small recap of the whole system, and then we'll. We'll close it out. What do you I, think? I don't know why, but I feel like Avengers is still disappointing to me. Just thinking about Avengers, I try not to think about it. I really do, but every time I do think about it, I get a little sad. Such, such a waste of potential. Such oh, a waste. Such a waste, man. Marvel, it's, cra- it's crazy. You want me to write a fucking Avengers story? Just let me know, D- dude. I still want to try Yakuza like a dragon. I do too. I heard it was good. I don't want to do the thing though where you jump in. I want to. I want to play all of them one day because they're all Game Pass. One yep. day I just need to do this, do them all. Well, one day. That day dude, is no time soon because I gotta play Halo Infinite. Jacuzza reminds me a lot of uh, Sleeping. Sleeping Dogs and, is a fantastic game. Yep, uh, and I hate that they they can't make a second one, but whatever. Yep, it's unfortunate they tried to make a MMO. MMO, which what the fuck? Anyways, um, yeah. 2020. The Xbox for Watch Dogs. Ugh. Yeah, Watch Dogs Legion. Don't fortune. Uh, the year of disappointments, really. Uh, if we're being honest, I think I even said that in my game of the year list. That's why a lot of them were indies. Excuse me. Anyways, that wraps up uh, the the game section, the UI section. What are your final thoughts on the Xbox One? Fantastic system, in my opinion. The S and X came in clutch. I mean, really, those mm-hmm. last few years saved the system for what it would have been an otherwise terrible generation. Yeah. Was at least transformed into a good generation. Not going to say great. Good generation. Yeah, the X Yeah, the, the X came in at a perfect time. We were like, finally. Well, Phil came in and changed a lot. And I don't know... I'm not Project Scorpio. I don't yeah, Project Scorpio. I don't know. I'm I'm not a super in the know with stuff like that. I don't know how much he actually influenced a lot of those things. I know he's a big guy with accessibility. I know he was the main driver on a lot of that. I know he was if I remember correctly when I heard someone talk about this, he helped a lot with the ideas of Game Pass or something like that. But I don't know how much he was involved with like the actual redesign and stuff, but thank God someone looked at the systems and went we got to make this thing at least look attractive to sell because jesus look at this thing yeah it sounds like a jet engine half the time what's wrong with you people who do you, are, do you even engineer literally they made it so much more smaller look better but still way the same oh for the one x yeah the one x Wait, yeah the one the one well the, yeah the one x was eight pounds oof that thing was but it felt good though no, yeah, you felt like, like you, fe- you got like what your money's felt- worth. Yes, yeah, when you felt your, like, quality hardware is in this thing. Because like, I liked I it, because it felt like it was packed one, to the I felt brim. like it was a DVR. I'm like, get the fuck out of yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, no, if, when you picked it up, you're like, what the fuck is this? Like, if, straight up, I'm not kidding. It felt like a VHS, like you're saying, like mm-hmm. a DVR garbage I literally garbage was trying thing. to plug it up, and it was in my way to, to plug itself in. I'm like, get it, move. 
Oh, whatever. Let's not forget you couldn't set it up. Oh my god, yeah. Because if you, oh, I and I had the Xbox, they would, they'll be like, oh, certain Xbox won't read discs certain times. So when you put it in, you'll you'll hear the. Eh, eh. Mine did that, and it was so annoying because half the time it wouldn't want to read a disc. So I would have to do the ding, take it out, just clean it, put it back in, take it out, put it back in, and then you hear the once you hear the 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 disc reader the, then it hit it. But if you wouldn't hear it, you'd have to eject it, put it back in. Oh my god, so annoying. The Xbox One, as well as I would say the PS3, is a cautionary tale of just because you're doing good does not mean your pa- your player base will follow you. That it the the base will not buy a system just because it's a system. We see that with the Xbox One. We saw that at first with the PS3, although they they did a really good job um, midway through changing a lot of the stuff that people didn't like with their models as well. But I think the Xbox One is a definitely like you, anyone ever thinks that you you're good and like your base will always follow you regardless of what you do. Fucking look at 2013 and look at Xbox One. They they were so, they sold so bad they didn't even report on the numbers anymore. They gave up on reporting the numbers and they still haven't gone back to doing that. Wonder they why? They just they're like just, uh, just wonder like, why they don't report numbers anymore. I can only imagine why. Probably because the PS5 is also made fucking units, same as the PS4. Mm-hmm. That is my last bits of it. I loved. Ended up loving the console. Did not start off that way, but I ended up loving the console. Um, we didn't talk too much about the controller because it didn't really change that much, if we're being honest with ourselves, like Alex, right? I mean, the 360 to Xbox One, of course, visually looks a lot different, but ergonomically, very slight differences, right? D-pad got better. Um, we eventually got the Elite controller, which every other controller died to me that day. It was just that now. Yep. So everything else is now just by design and it looks cool. That's why I have it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Alex, mm. that's all we have. Any Anything you want to leave the audience with? It's crazy how many potentials there was that completely just shot the bed. And Cautionary just, tale. Ugh. Like, so many games that I'm like, I, I've waited all year for this. You go to play it, and you're like, Mo, might as well, I this buy it. it, might as well play it. This ain't it. Yep. This ain't it. Teardrop. <laughs> Teardrops are falling. In. But hopefully from now on, they don't have, you know, those situations again. It seems like so far, all the games that have been, most of them, have been pretty good. Thank you so much for listening to the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. Looking back on 20 years of Xbox. Part 2. Thank you so so much much for listening. Now, remember, we come to you every single Friday. with The Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. We're covering the regular news. This was, of course, a special occurrence. Looking back on 20 years of Xbox. We're going to be coming back next week fully charged, like always. In love with both you and your ears. Remember, if you're on YouTube, you can support us in many ways freely. Comment below is the biggest way you can do that. Ask us a question or just tell us what we can improve on. Give us a like. That helps a lot too. Subscription numbers, big drivers on YouTube as well. We thank you so much when you help us algorithmically. That's free ways you can support the show. If you're on a podcast service, leave a five-star review. That helps so much as well. Of course, if you want to support us financially, patreon.com slash easy achievers. There's plenty of tiers you can look for them. And any sort any amount of money, you get a guaranteed answer from us when you answer via Patreon uh, DM service. Either get onto the show or just asking a general question about us. Thank you so much for listening. We're gonna go play some Halo Infinite. Yes, but until we are. the next time. Little chief, the little chief uh, angel on my shoulders. Let's go. Master Chief says, go achieve. Finish the fight.